Last night we parked up in this uh, caravan sales room place. We're gonna head into Warsaw. We slept next to all these brand new caravans with wedged in between. It's really great, it's 50 slotty a night and it's quite secure because it's got a security person on the gate 24 seven and it's gated. So it feels like a really nice place to leave our van while we go and explore the city. I just realized I left my phone in the van, but we, it's a bit too awkward because the guys like, properly helped us unlock the gate, padlock it shut. I can't go back and get it, so... I mean, I can, but it would be really annoying. I'm just going to go without my phone for the day. This is our home, I'm in Warsaw. Yep, we are in the capital of Poland today. It's a Sunday, you can feel the wind in my hair, it's warm. Let's do this. Our favourite thing to do when we get to a new city is have a coffee. So that's our first stop with me. Trying to work out how to pay for a ticket. There's a machine on here, but it says we can only uh, buy a long-term ticket from it. Don't get off without me. I popped out of a tram again because I've just spotted a ticket machine. And I think this is where we get our tickets. Okay, I think that's us done. Yay, tickets. That was impossible to see the screen because it was so sunny. 3.40 Zlotti each, and that gives you unlimited travel for 20 minutes. So we've got off a tram in the middle of the city. We are going to head straight into the old town and find somewhere to have coffee. We're here quite early. It's uh, only 10 a.m. and um, most of the shops actually don't open till 11, 12, but we found one cafe that is open now. These are really good flat whites. I think these are the prettiest flat whites we've had on this trip, yeah. Mmm, coffee. Delicious. 32 zloty, approximately five pounds for two oat milk flat whites and they were very good flat whites too. We have barely done any research for Warsaw honestly. Uh, we normally do a lot more um, but we kind of because we came in here on the spur of the moment yesterday we are a little underprepared on our itinerary so we're actually going to go and find a uh, tourist information which we don't normally do. This here is the square we came into on the tram it's got the tourist information in and behind us is this the royal palace. I quite like having a physical copy of the information about Warsaw Recommend just going into the tourist information, give you a free guide and a free map. We've just been walking through the old town and we've come into a hustling, bustling old town market square and there seems to be a lot of life in here, it's quite cool. Really beautiful brickwork and artwork on the buildings and really different to any of the cities that we've seen so far. So the old town looks incredibly well preserved but actually it's quite the opposite. During the Second World War, Warsaw was hit very bad through bombing and 80 to 90% of the city was completely destroyed. So all of this was just piles of rubble, but they had the original blueprints of the city and they faithfully rebuilt every single building. Behind me here is Serenka, AKA Warsaw's mermaid. And this, you'll find the symbol on every bus, tram, lots of the shops. Um, it's, it's a symbol you'll see everywhere around Warsaw. Incredible to think that they only, they, this was completely rebuilt just 70 years ago. They've done an incredible job. We are now getting pretty hungry, so we're gonna go and find some traditional Polish food that is vegan. It opens in one minute. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're keen. We've got our own little nook. It's like it's like a little greenhouse now. It's really warm, and loads of plants. It's cute. So we're gonna get some dumplings, and we're gonna try a traditional Polish kudaki. Yay! My mango lassi's arrived. It looks really good, really thick. It's not traditionally Polish, but I couldn't resist. Our food has arrived. It looks incredible. This is our kudaki, and this is our pierogi. I'm gonna share. We've got a whole mix of different flavors of pierogi. So it's a lucky dip. See what we get. Mmm. I think that's a mushroomy type one or cabbage. It's cabbage and mushroom. It tastes really good. Next, we're gonna try this kudaki. Mmm. Mmm. That nutty and creamy. Mmm. Wow. Isabel is just finishing her mango lassi. We are now gonna head back in towards the old town. They actually do pierogies that are sweet as well. Blueberry and tofu pierogi. Uh, we are planning on eating that but we are just so full we couldn't face it. We're coming to the main square and there are so many people here and there's some kind of like Christian rock band playing. There's all sorts happening here. We are gonna be going up the tower behind me. Wow. 
You really do get an amazing 360 of all the high buildings. That was actually really cool. We get an amazing view of the city. I definitely recommend. It's actually way taller than it looked from the ground. I didn't think it was going to be very tall, but we were climbing those stairs for ages. Yeah, and it makes you feel really dizzy because you're going. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I was feeling a bit wobbly at the top. We are following what is known as the Royal Route, and this is a route through Warsaw, which has loads, loads of the best sights to see. The bit behind us is the Presidential Palace but it's completely covered in scaffolding. They have disguised it fairly well, but this is all just like photographs on top of scaffolding. We just walked up to Hotel Bristol and there is a huge crowd outside and like a red carpet sort of thing. Uh, Isabel went and spoke to someone in the crowd and it turns out, I think Iron Maiden are staying there. Uh, so everyone's gathered outside to try and catch a glimpse of Iron Maiden. Entrance to the university, it's very grand. This is an amazing walkway. The buildings all along it are so grand, and it feels like really nice, wide pavement. Just walked past a big statue of Copernicus, who was the scientist who first discovered that the solar system orbited around the sun rather than the earth, and he was from Poland. We've arrived after about an hour's walk at Lariensky Park, and we are here to have a special performance. With us, we need a little cold beverage. Voye Drovie. £250 for a pint. On a Sunday, happens to be a Sunday today, they have a free concert playing Chopin, which is probably Poland's most famous composer, and they're going to be performing Chopin on a piano in the park here for free. So all of the capital cities we've been to so far have all been fairly similar size, around 600,000. Helsinki, Vilnius, uh, Tallinn and Riga mm. and then this is 1.7 million which is a lot lot bigger and it feels a, a double, lot yeah. it feels much bigger yeah. I believe it these guys just came over they recognized us um, from our Irish videos actually of all places yeah they're Polish but they live in Northern Ireland hi hi hey we just met Lucas and his wife Kasia and they're friends we are friends oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are huge fans. From we are it's, it's really a pleasure to welcome you in Poland, so oh, we are really happy yeah. to meet you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming so hard. Yeah. We have finished our drinks and headed into the park. Me and my squirrel buddy, he's very tame. I never see gr uh, red squirrels, I only see grey. I think we've just about made it in time for our concert. Wow, it's so busy here, there's so many people. I wasn't expecting to be quite this busy, it's kind of, yes, it's kind of amazing. Afternoon. Listening to that in the park and the sun. That was so nice, just like after the he hectic city yeah. centre, then to come out here Perfect. and just sit in the park with all these people, and the sun came out. It was really good. It was on for uh, over an hour. I see them. Yeah, and so completely free. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. So our plan is to head to this night market, um, but my phone is very low on battery, and that's our only directions. Uh, so I've turned my phone off because we need to be able to find a way home later. We are doing this the analog way. We have to try and find this night market just by walking around. <laughs> I think we've found it. We are walking down around the back of the station. Lots of graffiti. I mean, guys, I've got to say, it's looking pretty cool. We might well be in the right place. So guys, that was the night market. We were not allowed to film. We did a little bit of sneaky filming. 
on our phones, but we put the camera in the bag and we had a great time. We ate so much food. It was really cool. There was loads of like uh, street food sort of vendors and we had uh, so much food. It was so good. We had four meals for two people. Just couldn't decide. There was so much choice. And now we are on our way back. Another tram ticket and our train's due in two minutes. Home sweet home! Hey guys, morning! Yeah, we slept between all these brand new campsites. It's uh, campsites. <laughs> Our home behind me for the night in Warsaw. Oh, we are in Warsaw, aren't we? 